God has more provision than what you have been seeing provided. God has more provision than the provision that you have seen being provided. There's higher money, higher wealth, higher favor in finances. There's more. The wealth supply of God's government is here on earth right now. There's all type of wealth angels moving right now. The wealth supply of God's government is strong upon the earth right now. There's angels for wealth, for money. For glorified provision. Glorified, glorified provision is, is, is it comes from the resurrection of Jesus. You, you have so much access to God's financial flow that when Jesus, King Jesus died, there was money cometh in the death of King Jesus in his will. There was money cometh. There was an inheritance of houses and lands, the hundredfold. But resurrection, resurrected Jesus has another financial flow. Don't refuse the wealth grace that's in the belly of the Lord. The Lord Jesus is such a money moving spirit that he uses a fish to demonstrate his money power. He uses a, a fish to show Peter his money power, which shows you the enthusiasm of King Jesus to want to show you his money power. Let God show you what he can do with the money anointed. Have you ever tasted the money anointed? Why won't you let God let you taste the money anointed? The blessing is the father prescribing you wealth and riches for your enjoyment. Wealth and riches for the sponsoring of your man of God. When you start helping your man of God, you unlock wells of God's favor that will cause people to treat you correct, the right way. How you treat your man of God will cause people to treat you the way that you're supposed to be treated financially, mentally, Emotionally, verbally. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. How you treat your man of God will decide if your angel can talk to people about your situation and bring results and bring answers and bring solutions and bring manifestation and bring glory to God. Bring the kingdom of heaven into visibility for you. There's something called the prophet's reward. It's the prophet's reward. It's the prophet's reward. The prophet's reward is when you are blessing your prophet. You're taking care of your prophet. Your prophet is your life. When God sees that, even that prophet will have ideas from God of what to decree over you. That prophet would have words that are downloaded from the Father to pray over your life. And it will release angels. 
and you will have things occur in your favor that you wanted. Even things that you could not verbalize with your tongue. Things that you could not verbalize because you didn't know how to put it into words. It'll manifest in due season with all satisfaction in it. When your man of God comes to you, your man of God is a saw. You sow into your man of God. You pitch your money into your man of God. You pitch your time, your loyalty, your sincerity, your effort, your compassion into your man of God. You make a decision that that man of God will become a part of your protection system. You become that man of God's protector. You become that man of God's helper. You help him. Helping your man of God release his money coming. Helping your man of God, it intensifies your authority to command money. Helping your man of God gives you the grace to call in money. Helping your man of God sets you free from all money demons. Karaba so re de re de ba karaba. Randa mando rondo randa randa. Repe so raba karata karama. I just heard the Lord say that sowing kills all satanic financial conspiracies. Sowing kills all satanic financial conspiracies. You hear that? Sowing kills all satanic financial conspiracies. When the devil try to conspire against your provision, the seed will stand up in the court of God as evidence that no matter what he try to pit up against you financially, you're not guilty. The judge will rule in your favor. Saints, Solomon used a thousand burnt offerings to win a court case with his financial future. Because God said, I will give you riches. He won a court case. He won a court case that he didn't even know was going on in the spirit realm with his money, with his future, with the weight of what he was going to accomplish for God. Because remember, he built God a house out of gold. God chose him to build the house of God out of gold. When you're sowing, you have to know that some of the things that's going on in the spirit realm is being dealt with by your seed. There's matters that Satan go to, to the father about concerning you and your seed, your act of honor towards God, how you're sowing into your man of God. It is used to free you from that complaint, that conspiracy. Sowing kills all satanic financial conspiracies. Now, saints, let me just say this. The Holy Spirit will push you to sow because of the urgency for you to retrieve money bags that's near in your proximity. I'm going to say this one more time. The Holy Spirit will push you to sow so that you can retrieve money bags that are near in your proximity. Supernatural money is always in your day. Every day there's supernatural money. The money bags of King Jesus is always around you. But you have to be willing to go where the Holy Spirit sends you. You have to have the right spirit and accomplish what the Holy Spirit has pitched you on earth in that day to accomplish. 
Saints, I'm going to tell you something. That God will always have you do something spontaneously to unlock a new well of money. My God. He'll always have you do something spontaneously to unlock a new well of money. Always. Always. There's always a new well of money in a spontaneous act of obedience to God. Becoming sensitive to God with your obedience has large money in it. Big money is the dominion of King Jesus revealed through you. Big money is Jehovah Jireh roaring through your life. You hear this? Big money is Jehovah Jireh roaring through your life. The line of the tribe of Judah is a rich lion. It's a lion that tear the devil to pieces with the divine economy of God. It's a supernatural economy that pits Satan to shame. And saints right now, the supernatural economy is moving in full effect in America, all across the world for the sower right now. This is actually the richest time to sow. This the richest time to reap Reap and call in your harvest. The famine bent over. This the richest time for you to speak to wealth angels, ministering spirits, and give them assignments to go and minister for you. This is the richest time for you to talk to ministering spirits, for them to release your prosperity, for them to lose wealth, lose money coming, lose finances, lose increase. This is the richest time for you to command the blessing, command the blessing, command the blessing, command the blessing, command the blessing. This is the richest time for you to decree the wealthy place of God upon your life, your day, your season, your atmosphere. This is the time for it. The minister of finances is on the earth to show God strong in this hour. One thing that you must strive to obtain is the sower's heart. Receiving the scrolls of a sower. Sowing scrolls. Letting God train you how to give and honor your man of God. You know, it's so powerful. I'm so proud of JHM. JHM, JHM came to this conference and y'all was sowing right there in the conference. was sowing right there in the conference. By the way, I didn't ask for no seed in this conference either. See, see, I listen to the spirit of God. See, I'm a prophet. I'm a real one. See, when, when you get trained to sow, you're you really being trained to dominate. You're a ruler. That's what masters do. Masters are sowers. Slaves are thieves. Wow. Oh, my God. I never thought about that. Jesus. Did you, did you, how many of y'all just caught what I just said? I said masters are sowers. And sl slaves are thieves. Your biggest prison 
is not even lack. It's the inability to sow. The greatest sin that you can commit is when you stop sowing into God honor. Saints, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. It's the opposite of honoring the Holy Ghost. Think about that. So, so really the biggest sin is when you stop sowing the honor into God. Saints, those that sow money into their leader, their man of God, they receive added on grace, added on glory, added on wisdom, added on ministering spirits. Do you know how you increase angels in your life? Through sowing. Through sowing, you increase angels in your life. All type of angels start moving with you. Through the seed. Through falling in the spirit of God with money. You increase the angelic rank around you. Angels respect the sower. God respects the sower. That's why the word of God said that God had respect for Abel's seed. He had respect for Abel's offering. You win God's respect through the seed. God start respecting you because you honoring him by honoring your man of God. How do you honor God? He going to pit somebody that he has taken over in front of you to teach you. He going to pit a prophet Joshua Holmes in your face. And how you bless the Lord, how you honor the Lord, you honor Prophet Joshua Holmes. And while you're doing that, the Lord, he multiplies the seed sown. He brings the harvest to those that choose not to faint. And he take you from one glory to the next financially. Father, I received the anointed to sow big money. I received the anointed to be a big sower. Because I, I choose to live big. I will not live mediocre. I will not live just barely getting by. I will live on top. I will have financial flows and financial rivers. I choose to have financial rivers. Streams of financial rivers. My government will never shut down. My government will never shut down. It don't matter what's happening. It will never shut down. My government will keep on going higher and higher and higher and higher. Because I have a government that is eternal. This eternal governmental wealth is sitting on me right now. 